What's up everyone, this is Cybernet, and today I have a very special opening for you guys because today I'm going to open up a Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Shooting Star Dragon Tin. So yeah, I was actually able to find one of these. These tins are very rare. I mean, it's kind of like the, of course, Red Nova tin we opened up, was it been a week or two ago? Something like that. And I was like, I have to get this one too. I mean, you gotta get both of them. And uh, both these tins have gotten just really tough to find because, well... They have just really iconic monsters on the front of them and some really good packs them too. And of course, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. And I know you guys love seeing openings on 5Ds. So let's go on ahead, open this up, see what we can get. In case people are wondering too, I believe I got this off eBay if I remember correctly. I, I think that's right. So and just in case you guys are wondering where I got it from. Also, uh, be sure to like this video. I mean, Shooting Star Dragon. Come on, let's see if we can get 700 likes because of, again, Shooting Star. You can get Stardust Dragon in this tin, which is awesome. And this came out in 2010. So, yeah, I guess around eight years ago. Because I don't remember. It might have came out in November back then. I, I don't know exactly. And also, subscribe for more openings. Anything new that comes out and older openings, too, I, I do both of those. So, if you want to stay updated, subscribe. All right, here's kind of the different, like, deck lists and stuff. We got this last time, too, with Red Nova. Just kind of cool to look at, so I thought I would show it again. Because I mean, come on, you get like Amazonas Gravekeepers, Scraps, uh, Watts, see El Materials, and look! There's a card right there, I believe he's out of jail right now too! <laughs> Stratos, there you go! <laughs> I I'm so happy to see that Stratos is back. I knew it would happen one day. It just took a little bit longer than we thought. There's the other side too. Black Wings, which we're going to get new support for them soon. Maybe by the time this is uploaded, I don't know. Gladiator Beast, Monarchs, I mean, you have, like, everything there, so I'm going to keep this, just like I did last time. It's just, it's a really cool piece of paper they have on there. And, of course, Tag Force, which, uh, like I said last time, if you haven't played Tag Force, you really should. I mean, seriously. Oh, yeah, and there's the Wii game on the other side. I know it's nothing to those, but I feel like I should show the advertisements because it's just cool. I like older advertisements, especially for Yu-Gi-Oh!, It's kind of funny. It's like, oh yeah, I remember what year that came out in and all this. So first off, we have our Shooting Star Dragon, which again, that was an amazing card to have for this tin. Made it so much easier to get. Great card still, too. Then, of course, Stardust Dragon, because obviously Stardust, that's good to get. Then Elemental Hero and Ocean. Kind of forgot about this one being in there. That's cool. Well, <laughs> we got Stratus back. Might as well use Ocean now, too, right? <laughs> I don't know. Be pretty funny, though. Then we have Dread Scythe, uh, Dread Scythe Harvester. Blech, I can't say it. <laughs> there we go. And then also uh, Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction. So, again, good promos in this one, too. Both of them had good promos. Well, like I said, if it just had, you know, Shooting Star and the other one just had Red Nova, that'd be worth it in itself, really. Let's see, we have Duelist Revolution, two of the Shining Darkness, one of Absolute Power Force, and then uh, Stardust Overdrive. So, I believe the same packs, obviously. Let's just get to it. Duelist Revolution. That's one of those sets that always gets requests. So hopefully we have some good luck. I don't know. If you guys hit the like button, it gives me good luck. I'm just saying. It, it's been proven. It's fact. <laughs> it, it's been tested. What, pheasant? Oh, that's kind of cool. Actually, have beans. And uh, let's see. We have Amazonas Village for our rare. And aw, no hollow. Miracle Synchro Fusion, though. That's kind of cool. Yeah, and by the way, none of these packs, you're not guaranteed a hollow. By the way, so we'll make sure people know that uh, we're gonna work for a hollows today. Seriously, so let's see uh, the shining darkness. All these packs too have ultimate rares and ghost rares, so maybe <laughs> we'll see. Oh, well, there's uh, the ice barrier card. I thought that was kind of cool, and. Yeah, we actually did get a hollow. Well, there we go. I thought it was because it looks darker, you know? Uh, yeah, it is cards for black feathers. Oh, that is awesome, too. And like I said, we're getting new Blackwing support uh, later on this month, actually. So that is really cool. Uh, I, I would probably use this then. Can't believe that. Well, that works out. And then uh, Gen X Searcher, which is actually pretty good rare. That's awesome. <laughs> Mother Brain. <laughs> no, that's Memory Crush King. It looks like Mother Brain from Samus, or Metroid, I should say. Sam is the main character. Kind of doing a Legend of Zelda thing. <laughs> Saying the wrong name for the... and everything. Alright, Shining Darkness. Come on. What else we, can we get? I'm just happy we actually got... Ooh, we might have something, actually. And? Yeah, we got Watch Giraffe. Well, there we go. Two hollows already. That is awesome. I can't believe I actually got one of those. That's actually kind of tough to get, because I don't think it's been reprinted. So, <laughs> there we go. 
That is awesome. And then also we have uh, Guard Minds, because this is Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D, so you get a rare and a hollow, if you do get a hollow, you know? So that's whenever it switched to that, and then it's Art 5 is when it switches where you're guaranteed a hollow, in case people are, you know, confused. Then let's see, Absolute Power Force. Okay, now can we get Majestic Red? I always ask for that because it's awesome, so let's see. I actually hope we get Majestic Star from the other one because, well, we have Stardust and Shooting Star. Makes sense. Alright, so we got Shredder. Oh, there's one of the Spider cards. Power Invader and... do we? Oh, okay. We have uh, Burfamet for our uh, rare. And, oh, no holo. I thought maybe for a second, but oh well. I got two holos already, so I'm happy. Always, I love the artworks for a lot of these cards, too. Man, brings me back. And then, last pack. Okay. Stardust Overdrive. Say it with me. Can we end with a holo? Let's see. I really want to get Majestic Star, just because. It's just like the time to get it. Let's see. Part of the card. Tell me out here. Get a ghost rare even. I don't know. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. These are older packs. Bending Destiny, Emergency Bravery, Insect Neglect, and we got an ultimate rare! Oh man! Oh, that is so cool! We actually we got an ultimate rare. I can't believe that. And uh, yeah, it's uh, Earthbound. It's the one we opened up several of his 10 actually, I guess, recently. I, I don't know. I might have another one over there. I need to check. But we actually got him. It's the, the Condor. It's the one I never say correctly. <laughs> I swear to do that on purpose. Let's see. Earthbound Immortal, uh, Wara... Ocha Raska? Wara Ocha Raska, I think? Uh, that might be as good as you're gonna get from me. Honestly, I try every time. I know someone always tries to tell me how to pronounce it, which, thank you, but I... I'm just terrible at it. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll admit it. But either way, I got the ultimate rare, so I am happy. I can't believe that, too. That is so amazing. And, uh, yeah, another ultimate rare for the collection, right? And also Fortune Lady Earth, which, that's pretty good, too. I like the Fortune Lady cards. Anything else? Well, Kwaki Meru. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Are there sleeves in this? I don't remember. Yeah, <laughs> there's not. I take last time, too, I think, with Red Nova. But, yeah, obviously, you're not going to get these cards uh, these days, but still pretty cool to see. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Had some amazing luck. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we got an ultimate rare out of the Red Nova tin, right? So, <laughs> I guess these are the tins to get then. Even though they are a little bit more expensive, totally worth it. So, hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, I'm really happy I was able to get one of these and do well with it because these older openings, man, it could be all rares, but it, it worked out really well. And uh, yeah, just let me know what other openings you guys like to see in the future. Of course, anything new that comes out, I do openings on. But if you have any requests, whether it's an older Yukio tin, gold series, uh, older pack or box even, let me know and I'll try to hunt it down for an opening. And uh, it seems like usually when you guys suggest, you know, what opening you like to see, I have better luck with it too. Like seriously, I know I'm turning superstitious, but I think there's something to that. So I really should listen to you guys and I'll write down everything, you know, what openings you guys want to see. And I'll try to get it for a future video. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. Helps out a ton. Subscribe and also ring that bell so you don't miss out on videos like this. And of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.